Well that was quite an intro wasn't it? So this is our first game, it's on the ZX Spectrum and it's Marley's Christmas. I'm going to keep most of the games uh, Christmas themed because it's Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, okay, so let's have a look at this. So as you can see it's a game that follows on the Monty, Monty uh, games and it, it's rather impressive. We've got nice music in the background and it was free with your Sinclair magazine. So that was the way you got it back in the day. Now I'm going to have a look at three different versions of the game Santa's Christmas Capers by Zeppelin Games. Now the first version here is the ZX Spectrum version and it's probably the weakest of the three to be honest but it's still a very fun playable game. You control uh, Santa on his sleigh and you have to shoot the sweets and stuff that come bombarding at your sleigh. I'm not sure why the sweets flying through the air, but that's the way it is. Now here is the Amstrad CPC version. It's a bit more colourful than the ZX Spectrum version, but it looks a little bit more blocky as well, probably because of a slightly lower resolution perhaps in this screen mode, because the Amstrad CPC has various different screen modes. And the more colours, the less resolution you get, I think. Anyway, this is Xmas Christmas Capers, the uh, Amstrad CPC version. Same idea, sweets and penguins and trains and stuff flying at you and you've got to shoot them with snowballs from your Santa's sleigh. Quite a fun game to be honest. It would have cost about £3.99 in the shops back in the day. Of course the Commodore 64 version had to do one different, quite often the case on the Commodore 64 and yet yeah, this is the strongest of the three. Uh, the graphics are much improved on this version, there's a music all the way through and it's great sounding SID music as well. Best version of the game in my opinion, so have a look at this. Another fun game Christmassy on the Commodore 64 you might not have played or you might have played is called Frosty's Busy Night or it's also known as Frosty the Snowman. Now it has glorious music in the background and it's a two player simultaneous race to the finish. So yeah, you, it was free with Commodore Power, your, sorry your Commodore magazine uh, and it, I think that's the only release it made. In, the magazine was all fated. I don't think there was many episodes, any many issues at all. So have a look at this game. Nice music on this one, and it's very tough, challenging. One for the Atari 8-bit line of computers now, Atari XC, that sort of thing, and it was Special Delivery, and starred Santa on his sleigh. Similar game to Santa's Christmas Capers, but yeah, it's okay, it's got different levels, it's not just riding the sleigh, you go into the houses and stuff. Quite a fun, enjoyable game.
back to Commodore 64 again. And this game is called the official Father Christmas game or something along them lines. So yeah, apparently there's an official game, so this was it. Uh, you had to collect the items and the pesky elves would uh, nick them back off you, so you got to try and avoid them. So yeah, that's this one. Not, not bad of a game, good graphics, good music, fun to play. Happy Christmas everyone and have a safe and wonderful time. So this my friends is Wonderful Dizzy, a new game, f official game from uh, the Oliver Twins and as you can see it's very polished, very beautiful to look at. You see at the bottom how lovely that Emerald City and the, the gra artwork looks and uh, yeah the graphics are updated as well. This is running on an actual, well it's running an emulator from our video but it will run on an actual 1 to 8 uh, Spectrum. Uh, there is a Spectrum Next version planned as well. Uh, but yeah, this looks amazing, and uh, yeah, I've always been a big fan of the Dizzy games, and it's really such a nice uh, thing to get a new, brand new one in 2020. So yeah, you can download this one for free, I believe, and uh, yeah, you can run it on your actual Spectrum using a DivMMC device, or a headphone uh, type adapter, or some other means of getting the uh, tap file into your system. And yeah, it, it plays well, it looks the part, really colourful, and it's well it's basically dizzy he's got a cute little hat on there as well which he didn't have in the original games and i'm glad they c c uh, continued to keep the sky black on the 8-bit version because uh, it didn't look quite the same I, I used to think on the amiga and the pc and the atari st etc so yep yeah, that's a wonderful dizzy on the uh, zx spectrum brand new 2020 official dizzy game and I'm going to give this one a massive 10 out of 10. It's got all the elements of the old versions. It is slightly changed. You collect stars rather than coins now. But they look, they're probably star coins because they're circle shaped anyway. And uh, yeah, it's based on the Wizard of Oz setting. So uh, yeah, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Christmas and a joyful new year. And uh, stay safe. And I hope to see you in the next video. So uh, thank you for watching and spending the time to watch the video. Thank you for watching. Good, good, good Christmasy boy!